I'm Danielle Brosan. I am the EMS Cost Recovery Manager and also serve as the Department's Privacy and Compliance Officer. Um, the EMS Cost Recovery is a long title for Ambulance Billing Program, and I've been here almost seven years now. Work in administration um, at the headquarters, and um, our role here is uh, supporting everyone that's out in the field. So from um, the budget to supplies to um, the public information and um, just supporting the, the fire chiefs and the leadership and making sure that everybody has everything that they need. I've been um, healthcare receivables and finance for over 20 years, uh, the last 10 of which I traveled nonstop. And um, that was my husband who picked me up. He's a 911 dispatcher supervisor for us here as well. He picked me up from the airport from another work trip. And he said, how about we just stop with traveling so much? There's a position open in the department that I think you would be perfect for. So the uh, position was for the EMS cost recovery. And I was able to actually build this program pretty much from the ground up with help from my team and, and uh, others here at, at the administration. It was brand new to Loudoun County. However, uh, across the nation, about 80% of uh, fire rescue departments uh, do bill for ambulance transports. So it was something that uh, Loudoun could um, do to garner some, some extra funds that could come through that's already built into people's insurance uh, that would come in and help support the, the rescue system um, and the volunteer system as well. Now, women in um, all facets of, of jobs were definitely bring a different perspective, and especially into a male-dominated um, workforce. The, it's nice to see the, the diversity that's happening now with all of our operational crews. There's a lot more women um, out there um, performing those roles with fire and rescue, uh, EMTs and paramedics. Um, so I definitely just uh, different points of view that can be uh, seen and uh, that are worked on even with uh, some of our fire, you know, some of the chiefs that are uh, coming on board now are women. So there's definitely different points of view that can be seen with that. I love spending time uh, at our river lot with friends and family. Um, we kayak, we fish, uh, and since the pandemic started, I also uh, refound my love of sewing. So, in about a year's time now, I've sewn over 600 fabric masks for friends and family, doctor's offices, veterinary staff, all kinds of people. For 23 years now, I've uh, partnered with One Warm Coat, which is a national organization that holds coat drives across the country for those in need. Um, in my past seven years, almost seven years that I've been here with with Loudon, um, I've been holding boat drives, and each year they just keep getting larger and larger. Um, and it's uh, we benefit. Uh, we Mobile Hope Loudon is where everything goes. Uh, this year, with uh, the pandemic, of course, it was a lot more difficult, or we thought it would be. Um, but we were able to get the word out with social media and partnering with uh, some other. Um, soccer clubs and churches and different things in the area. We actually had our largest coat drive we've ever had.